<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, why is one of us not leaving this review and rate my professor right now? <laughs> <laughs> this man makes the worst pierogies I've ever tasted. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. I paid four. I paid fourteen hundred bucks for semester pierogies. <laughs> he was my pierogi instructor. He did not do very well. Yeah, I had this man for poli side two twenty five, and his pierogies were abysmal. <laughs> oh my god, my stomach hurts. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, that takes it. Oh, just I'm, I'm just. Oh man, I really want to just leave this. Like the pierogies were not worth three dollars on the cemeteries page. <laughs> <laughs> I have like something that like that's re that's something that's like reported whenever it's commented on something. <laughs> <laughs> like for a cemetery, they're like, "Can we please get this one removed? We <laughs> do not have pierogies." <laughs> we don't offer pierogies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anymore. We don't even sell that here anymore. <laughs> it became too expensive. <laughs> this is what you do. You make like two or three accounts. You all comment the same thing about how how the pierogies weren't worth it at the cemetery. Then you get more people coming until one some bitch later showed up, expected pierogies, there were no pierogies. I'm there pissed. Were, there were no pierogies. Or we all just comment on the same thing. <laughs> Their business dies because of fake pierogi accounts and then real pierogi expectations. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dude, they have a riverboat? <clears throat> the, the cemetery? No! Yeah, for the river sticks, you know? <laughs> oh, they're all good reviews. Damn it. Oh. I mean, that that can be remedied. Wait, look up look up ones for Boston <laughs> Market. There's gotta be some shit ones there. Yeah, I found a whole ass finger in my pop pop. <laughs> <laughs> the pierogies were not worth three dollars. Hit up like like sweet frog. These pierogies were extremely <laughs> lacking. Picturing someone putting like frozen yogurt on their pierogi, like fuck this shit sucks. <laughs> the next full price game I buy, I'm the review's gonna say the pierogies were not worth three dollars. <laughs> For Last of Us Part Two, <laughs> one star. <laughs> the pierogies were not very good. <laughs> People are like, what the hell is this guy smoking? <laughs> what the fuck came in the deluxe edition? <laughs> this, this might be the hardest I've ever heard you laugh, Chase. <laughs> The last oh time he laughed this hard when we were talking about Shane Porkin is dead. Dude, <laughs> oh, I wish that clip existed. Me too, bro. Gosh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking Waluigi on PlayStation Network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Kill it with fire. <laughs> Zach has no idea what's happening. <laughs> oh 
man. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, no, I love it when there's just tears coming out of my eyes. It's true. Uh. <laughs> uh. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Whew. That Polish house really came fucked into us the up. Of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a box of frogan perus <laughs> frogan. I can't even speak. <laughs> Pre-order now and get yourself a box of frozen perukis. <laughs> yeah, you want bacon cheddar or sour cream and onion? <laughs> a GameStop exclusive. <laughs> Redeemable for trade and credit. <laughs> Finally, something worth my money. Two months later, can I return these? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all got any bacon cheddar? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yes, sir. Your PlayStation 5, Xbox 360, and an entire TV is worth three boxes of frozen pierogies. <laughs> That's outrageous. Well, sir, the pop of the progies are three dollars a pop. <laughs> I'm actually losing money on this. Take the deal and walk away. <laughs> the best I can do is half a pierogi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get about a forkful. Uh, oh my. <sighs> Dude. It's so hard to do a forge when you can't see. <laughs> uh. Damn. Where am I even at anymore? Oh. Uh. I think so. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Zach, would you buy a pierogi for three dollars? <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. The important questions. What's a good price for a pierogi according to you? <laughs> Two fifty. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me you've never, never had a pierogi. <laughs> um, wait, does someone have me muted? Do I have <laughs> A northern <laughs> thing. Alright, Ethan. Hold on. So no Zach... one has me muted! He, he's from he's from South Carolina. He doesn't know what a pierogi is. He said it's had a northern thing. Good lord. <laughs> oh fucking shit! <laughs> Wait, Look it up. Okay, Zach. I want you to spell pierogi. Why am I muted? <laughs> yeah, spell pierogi. <laughs> Ethan's best. Close. He's not, he's not, that's not bad. Zach would be yeah. fuck. Oh. What? Oh. It's just pi R-O-G-I, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. It's like a, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's basically a pot sticker. Just think of that. Look it up on YouTube. He doesn't oh, know what a pot know. sticker is. Don't know what a pot sticker is either, man. God damn it. <laughs> can't win, though. It's, it's, do you know what a dumpling is? I like a dumpling. Dumpling. Can we All point right. that Vino it's, said go on like, YouTube to look up a pot sticker? Just fucking Google it, Zach. <laughs> look it up on YouTube. Zach, just Google pierogi. It's a little. It's a little. It's a ball. It's a stuffed <laughs> ball of dough. Now you typically fry in like a pan or like pan sear. Ah, Zach, don't listen to him. It's a sex thing. Weird, weird stuff. You want to look that up? And it's stuffed with potatoes, cheese, sometimes bacon and sour cream. Sometimes <laughs> some baby parts, you know. Oh my gosh. Whatever I'm... you can get your hands on, really. Yeah. It's a down economy, it's baby pieces. <laughs> yeah. What? Pierogies are king in Parma. Dude, there's a hundred reviews for the... What is this? For the blood donation center? Oh my god. <laughs> they took my blood! 
<laughs> Should have eaten that three dollar pierogi. My blood was thick. The whole siphoning my blood out was cool and all, but the pierogies were way overpriced. <laughs> 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 I was I was under the impression these pierogies would be complimentary and it cost me a liter of blood. <laughs> I is confusion. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Stewart yeah, says, go, go, go get yourself some coming here, tomorrow. but now most of the employees talk more than they stick, so the wait time has doubled. You can tell more half of them hate... <laughs> You can tell <laughs> half, of them, half of them hate their jobs and don't even want to be here, and it shows they tell you. It shows... I don't... Oh, people aren't living it up <laughs> at the blood donation center. At the blood bank. <sighs> oh. The worst part about the blood bank isn't that I have to share needles anytime I donate blood, it's that all the pierogies are used in, uh, you know, just made in leftover fry oil. Four stars. Bro, share the needle? That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Not as disgusting as leftover fry oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not the worst. That's not the bad part. <laughs> what the f What is this thing? Jane? Nick. Yo. Uh, Black Armory, Atalanta, moving target, threat detector. Eh, keep it. Okay. Don't. Dino. <clears throat> Dino. Yeah. I would like to return back to the part where you said that, uh, pierogies are king in Parma. I would like you to explain why. What's so... Parma? So there's a giant underground of, gang that controls it's the, the city I live in. So Parma is what? Parma when it like was first like being like like when everyone started moving into Cleveland, you know the whole oil boom, Carnegie. Okay, I don't yeah, think I anybody that, ever that willingly moved into Cleveland. Okay, <laughs> or Dino, Ohio continue. for that matter. <laughs> but go ahead, continue with this <laughs> false story. <laughs> so Parma was primarily a Polish town. So, was it yesterday? So, literally, on Cinco de Mayo, as I'm driving to... You get pierogies on Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> Seems I a did. little weird, but alright. <laughs> I was driving to, to Dom's house for Game of Thrones, and I look towards my church in the parking lot, and it's a yeah, fucking pierogi yeah. festival. But anyway, yeah, we we'll have get past too. that. So, there's, there's... I don't know if he's in the NFL. Damn, Polish. I don't know if he's in the NFL anymore, but there was a... a, a guy who played for the Browns who grew up in Parma, went to Parma High School, whatever, and his nickname on the Browns was the Pierogi Prince of Parma. Pierogi Princess was so a that So, okay. because you had a football, an obscure football player nicknamed the Pierogi <laughs> Prince of Parma, that's why the pierogies are the best in Parma. I'm just saying, we also have a festival for pierogies. We never literally have a race at our Kenny baseball games. Not a church. Yeah, we have the. I I shot a recording yesterday. <laughs> that too. We the pickles are king in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Well, there's this one NFL player. Yeah, his his name was Heinz Ward. You know Heinz Pickle, pickles. Pickle Rick. Heinz ketchup was actually invented because of him. <laughs> He was such a good you football know, player, they named him Heinz, the, the Warden of Ketchup. <laughs> You've heard of the Warden of the North, but have you heard of the Warden of Ketchup? Heinz <laughs> Ward originally went into number 57, but he couldn't have it. <laughs> so he had to stick with 87, or what was he, 81? <laughs> oh. 80, 87 is Sid the Kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Someone record this. Someone, someone save this clip. Bro, yeah. You save it. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Wow. Zach, did you look up pierogies yet? He's scared. Are you scared? 